Hi, right, hello everybody. Today I'm just doing a quick video on my rights and this video is about how I buried them. I have gone down from my original three and then I lost Artie to epilepsy and then I took on four more rights and then I lost Jupiter and then I lost Sam and Dean and then Laos and Minnie. So a lot of you guys know rats don't live very long. They have very short lifespans and I'm in my room just filming this video. And I buried them in my deck area and a lot of people that get smaller pets like rats and mice have apartments. So how did I bury them? Well I got pot plants for my deck area because my deck area is about quite big. I'll, I'll film outside in a minute. But it's the first pot plant has two of my rats in it, um, RT and then Jupiter, because they were um, a year apart from when they passed away. And then I have two smaller pots with Sam and Dean, and then I have a larger pot with Laos and Minnie, because Laos is rather large. He was a plush size rat. So the experience I've had with burying my rats in my deck area is that I haven't had noticed any smell. Uh, they would be decomposing in, in the pots with all the dirt and the flowers on top. So if you ever feel like this is something that you would want to do, if you've got a little outside area in your deck or a potter park next to a window and you want your pet slash fur baby to be with you forever, this is an option. I can show you the potted plants and the flowers that I put on top. And yeah, so I'm making this video because when I first started researching, there wasn't a video online about this. There was a few web pages where someone went into it a little bit, but not in much depth. So my experience has been quite good. They're just like when a larger animal like a cat or a dog passes away, you would bury them this, this deep. I don't think anyone would have a meter long grave for a cat. The cat or dog would be about that big. And I know this is a bit grim, but you know, with with the rats you're a little bit smaller, so that that's probably plenty of space. And with with mice you probably do the same as well to minimize the smell. The reason I bought my rats home instead of just leaving with the vet is because I have so many rats and rats bond quite well so when a rat passes and you take them to the vet to help cross the rainbow bridge you also then have to show to the other rats that they've passed so that they can grieve so you leave them next to their friends until they lose interest and then the grieving process starts so I'll take you outside in a minute and I'll show you my potted area and I hope this video is helpful. So this is the pot plant that has Laos Mini. Uh, it's a bit how big it is. It's my herb garden. This is the bigger one that has both Jupiter and Artie, both a year apart. It's a lavender. And these are the size of the ones for my miniature rats. They were only about 400 grams. And it's about 30 centimeters deep that they're in. So you don't need something too big, depending on the size of the rat. The bigger pot is for the bigger rat. He was about 650 grams, plus his mini. And yeah. And yeah, hopefully this is helpful.